my dorky daddies. How y'all doing? Ladies and gentlemen, get this cord out of my way. <laughs> DaVinci Resolve 20 just dropped and we made a video about it. We are so excited and there's so many features to go into. So rather than making a 30 hour long video, we're going to break it up. And today we are talking about the new AI multicam switcher. No, what is it? AI multicam smart switch. And for those of you who are new around here or are new to DaVinci Resolve, this feature looks crazy. Essentially, you're going to be able to feed it a multicam and it's going to make auto angle cuts on that multicam between speakers or people who are talking and it's not just looking at the audio apparently it's looking at the video and how it talks as well this feature looks crazy and naturally of course this feature looks like it's going to be incredible for video podcasts And for those of you who don't know, I used to have a video podcast, Editing Guests with Jake. And if we're being real for a minute here with you guys, I stopped doing that podcast because of the amount of post-production that it took. I loved talking with people, coming up with notes and questions was always very natural for me, but making an hour-long episode and cutting angles and making it to the quality that I want to make it, I just, I just ran out of time, so we stopped doing the podcast. But now now, with this feature, I'm thinking we might need to do it again. And so naturally, we're going to do another episode. Oh my gosh, guys, 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 guys. So today, 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 we are meeting. We're doing a podcast episode with Dylan Bates, the Final Cut Bro. I'm so excited. Like, oh man, I can't wait to chat with him, get to meet him. I've got so many questions for Dylan. Um, it's also just like mind-blowing that he would want to come talk to me like me little little dorky dad Jake um, So pumped we are pumped about this But also I'm feeling even more weird funny silly goofy about it because and I, I kind of hate to admit it but Dylan <laughs> I have some really innocent ulterior motives as well, which is I really want to test the new DaVinci Resolve podcast feature. We haven't done the podcast in forever, and I want to test this feature because I'm so excited to see what the podcast is like, and how much easier it is to make. So yes, I'm very excited to come talk to you, but I also, again, am hoping to play around with some cool new toys in the process. So I don't know. I think I, I think it should be really, really cool. And yeah, we're testing it today. So we'll see how it goes. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. And so later that day, we did in fact do the podcast with Dylan, and guys, you aren't going to want to miss this episode. Wait, so let me get this straight. You're thinking about switching to DaVinci Resolve? Hit that subscribe button. Okay, so it is, let's see, it's the next day. We did the podcast with Dylan. Uh, Dylan is awesome. No surprise there, of course. We knew he would be, but what a great conversation and just a great human being. Let's test this out. Let's see if this works. So, okay, media pool. So if you can't tell at this point, I realized I needed to render both of the angles separately to run my test. And well, of course, they're hour long clips and uh, I was rendering and very bored. Ooh, big neck crack. Houston, we have a problem. We're going down! Come on! Save us! How long is this gonna take? <laughs> oh, it's done. It's done, it's done, it's done. My angle is done. Okay. And so now, so with both now. of the renders done, I made a multi-cam clip with both angles. I made sure that the angles were lined up properly to be the conversation that we had, and it was time to test the feature. Let's just leave everything. Like, uh, let's see. Let's just try this. Let's leave default settings. Let's analyze. Let's see what we get here. Now, this is long. This is a long... Yeah, this is me again realizing I'm in for a whole bunch of waiting. Again. All right, 45 second countdown. Let's see here, one second left. Ooh! Okay, we got some cuts, so let's see. I didn't even know you had one, so I'm stoked. <laughs> I was pretty, pretty on it for a while, and then just kind of like, I don't know, I've had a lot of less time in general lately, so I, that was the first thing to get. <laughs> it's looking good. It, 
hear yours. Interesting. Okay, dude, it's doing pretty. Okay, here's the deal. It is working and it is doing a damn good job. Wow. This, this thing is impressive. Okay, okay, okay. So we ran our tests, we ran our tests. Initial impressions for the podcast that I do, it's working, it's working. I think there's a few kinks we gotta figure out. I want to test one more idea with this that I think would actually make my workflow crazy. And yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's get, Let's get that set up. Okay, so this is my S5 old camera. Love this thing. We're gonna hang this where this guy just was. And this camera, we are going to move, I I don't know, just back, maybe back onto the desk. We could move this guy back onto the desk. Yeah, okay. So we'll put him back on the desk. Essentially what I'm thinking is, what if we did a multi-cam setup, very Jake style lately, where we have one camera here set up, one camera there. I'm thinking we could even mix in some more cameras. We're just gonna test it with two. But could I do this style with a multi-cam where I have one audio track and then would it cut angles for me and do a preliminary round of cuts and then I could trim it down and tighten it up after the fact. But essentially, could we do this style of balping around the shed and not have to move my camera every time and be like, oh, hey, let's move this one over there and just have it set up to do that. Yeah. I, does that make sense? <laughs> I think it does. Check one, two. Alrighty, my dorky daddy. So it is the next day. We ran the test last night and I just was, I got tired, couldn't finish editing it. So we're going to actually test if it works, which kind of killed me to go to sleep, but you know, sleep's important. <laughs> And honestly, this test is going to be a little bit more complicated than I'd originally pitched. So you can see here, we've got our two angles, the desk angle and the side of the shed angle, the S5 and the S5 II. And then I have the audio that I want to sync. But what I wanna try is I wanna select all of these. I wanna right click, let me turn my audio down for just a second. I wanna do audio sync and hit auto audio sync on the waveform. For those who don't know what it does, in the background now, this clip and this clip should both have the good juicy audio from this mic, which I just love. It sounds so great. And then what I wanna do is take both of these cli clips, clips, right click and hit create new multicam clip using selected clips. We're gonna call it multi test switcher. Frame rate's 24. We are going to have the uh, angle sync be on sound. Um, we don't need to do that. Yeah, we're gonna, okay, so that should be good. So now we have a multicam, should be synced up. Now, just looking at it, it looks like it is properly synced. We're gonna take this multicam, we're gonna drop it down in our timeline. And now, what I wanna do, let's right click on here, and we need to go to switch multicam click, nope, sorry, multicam smart switch. Click on that. Um, I'm gonna leave everything default just like we did for the podcast and let's see how this does. This one's gonna be much quicker because it was only, I don't know, 30 seconds or maybe a minute or two that I did this one for. Okay, looking promising so far. So right here, this is one angle kept it so let's let's actually cut this to the audio just for for comparison's sake so we're here talking to the side camera the s5 that looks perfect and then i go over here to sit down and it automatically switches to the desk angle and then we, we do that talking come back next angle we're back over here that looks perfect Oh my gosh, I got a little bit confused right there, I can see. But otherwise, holy crap, this is amazing. And then the best part, the best part of all, is now I can come in here and I can go trim that one. Oops, let's turn on our clip under selector. I can go trim the end of that one, 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 trim the end of that one. Trim the end of that one, trim the end of that one, trim the end of that one. Take it off, eclipse selector, turn off our snap. We can do all of our little L and J cuts, nestle these in nice and tight. And just like that, I have completely edited a blurb of a Jake video where I talk to camera, multiple camera. I mean, that is, and we're switching angles. Anna's. 
It's bananas. And then I could come back here and tell you why this is one of my favorite coffee mugs of all time, it's Calvin and Hobbes. I love Calvin and Hobbes. Then I could come back here and tell you why these cost Porta Pro Classics are the best headphones. Come on. To man. Come on. We're switching. We're switching. And we're switching. And we're switching again. And we're switching again. We're switching again. This is game changing because instead of taking this camera, this amazing camera right here, and, you know, picking it up and moving moving it you know moving it around the shed whatever having to find new spots to put it in places i can now literally just set up two three four however many cameras sync them all up and then it's automatically going to cut for me this is a huge time saver this is super cool guys davinci resolve 20 is awesome go try it subscribe because we're going to talk about more features this is just the first one we've cracked into thank you so much for watching and as always as always as always thank you to our dorky daddies consider becoming one today and don't forget don't forget don't forget don't you you right there don't you forget to stay dorky